theme that we will be looking at at the upcoming Nedbank Private Wealth Roadshow is around South African markets and the fact that we do believe that equities as an asset class are expensive. This is a theme that we've actually introduced to our clients over the last 18 months. And uh, if you look at what's happened on global markets in particular, the majority of markets are trading at 52 week highs and in fact in some cases at all time highs. If we bring it closer to home and a market that I want to look at and concentrate on is the Chinese market. And obviously with NASPERS having a majority interest in Tencent, uh, the performance of Tencent does have a massive influence on the performance of NASPERS. We've seen um, in excess of over a million private client accounts being opened per day on the Chinese market. And that's really as a result of the government relaxing certain investment restrictions amongst the retail market. In fact, in some cases, some retail investors are, are holding as many as 15 different investment accounts. So this is attributed to uh, the, the, the re-rating in the price of Tencent, which is obviously facilitated in, in, in the re-rating of NASPERS. So the Chinese market is up over 30% for the year. The Hang Seng Composite is in fact up over 50% for the year and the JSC is up over 8%. Last year, the JSC gave you a return in excess of 12%, which included dividends. And this is a, a message that we are in fact trying to get across to our client base, is that equities as, as an asset class, we believe, are going to struggle to give you double digit returns um, over the next few years. And we are therefore exercising caution when investing in the, in the, in the South African market. One of the main drivers for the South African market is foreign participation. Foreign participation makes up over 60% in some cases on the trading in the JSE, and obviously that has a significant impact on the performance of the, of the major counters on the JSE. The biggest beneficiaries of foreign investment on the South African market have been Sunlum, First Rand, Standard Bank, and Steinhoff. And uh, in fact, the biggest losers, in other words, uh, the counters which the foreign investors have been selling have been the majority of the, uh, of the resource counters. But here to date, foreigners remain net buyers of South African equities to the tune of just over 16 billion, billion rand. And a lot of that buying has actually only started uh, in the middle of March. Goldman Sachs, in fact, recently released a report saying if you look at South Africa in an emerging market context, it's actually, from a risk-reward investment case, it's not a bad investment destination. Uh, Latin America is struggling with recession. There's political turmoil ha happening in Russia. There's massive uh, currency volatility happening in Turkey. We have deep liquid capital markets and obviously an extremely well-run Johannesburg Stock Exchange, which is incredibly transparent, which, which augurs well for South Africa as an investment case. 